This is GTV. No RSVP needed. I want to take a look back at something that isn't too old, but is probably going to be looked back on as something fondly remembered. Super Mario Odyssey. And with it, a tiny memento from the game's pre-release campaign that's worth revisiting. Yeah, back in the good old days of 2017, Super Mario Odyssey was probably the most wanted game on most people's radar. And when it finally hit on October 27th, 2017, I was pretty impressed. It wasn't Super Mario 3D World, but it wasn't Super Mario 64 either. It was a gorgeous game with an awesome soundtrack, and except for the fact that you had to tediously track down hundreds and hundreds of moons to move forward in the game, it was pretty fun. The other thing I remember was being slightly confused because nearly all promotion and advertising prominently featured Pauline, New Donk City, and the song Jump Up Superstar. So when I had to march arduously through the Cascade and Luncheon Kingdom and the Sand Kingdom looking for moons, I kept asking myself, hey, what does this have to do with anything? And where is Pauline? Then you finally get to New Donk City, which unfortunately is a super short stage. Then at the end, you get the payoff with an awesome 2D stage and musical performance. Honestly, I thought that was the game's ending, only to be forced to go find more and more moons seemingly forever to reach the real objective of the game, which was to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser before she's forced to marry him. Okay, that's a compelling plot point. So, why wasn't Super Mario Odyssey promoted this way in the first place? Well, it turns out it actually was. You just had to look in an unusual place. One media outlet was telegraphing the game's story long before the game was out. A Japanese bridal magazine called Zexy promoted Super Mario Odyssey in its August 23rd, 2017 issue. The theme of the magazine was getting married or taking a honeymoon abroad specifically in Hawaii, which in the eyes of Japan always seems to be the ultimate vacation. The magazine featured wedding invitations with Mario in his tux and Peach in her wedding dress. There was also a waterproof passport carrying case, so that if you somehow got your passport lost on the beach, it'll be safe. Along with that, Zexy also went into detail about what you should do to prepare for your wedding or honeymoon abroad, going so far as to include emergency telephone numbers with Japanese language support. But the big draw for the issue of Zexy was none other than an official Super Mario Odyssey marriage license. These forms, called Kekon Todoke in Japanese, are a little bit different than those in the West. Mainly the difference is that once you and your soon-to-be spouse sign it, you are legally married right there, as opposed to most Western countries where you do the paperwork beforehand and it is official after a ceremony. Zexy claims proudly in its pages that the Mario and Peach Kekon Tadoke can be filled out and will be legally binding upon submission. Actually, Zexy offers different themed Kekon Tadoke in each issue, and each one can be registered legally at any city office. Now, don't get too excited, because once you turn that license in, it gets processed, and you can't get it back. Your return paperwork will just be a boring blue paper, showing the date that you got married. It isn't known how many of these forms were submitted. Maybe some were just used for fun or practice and are still kept in a wedding scrapbook somewhere. And hey, if you're a collector, I just told you something you probably have never heard of, but now have to go spend tons and tons of money on just to have it hanging on the wall. <laughs>